I'm Adam. And I'm Sugar. And this, and this is, is Where There's, where there's a, Williams, a Williams There's a Way. Hey, Sugar, do you like hugs? I'm not sure if you knew this, but bears love hugs. Oh, is that so? Haven't you ever heard of a bear hug? I don't associate with those as an act of affection, more of a strong hold. Well, bears are strong. How else are they supposed to hug? In today's book, a boy hugs anyone and anything. Let's get started. Hug Machine by Scott Campbell Whoa! Here I come! I am the Hug Machine! I am very good at hugging. The best at hugging. No one can resist my unbelievable hugging. I am the Hug Machine. My hugs calm people down. They cheer them up. They make them go completely nuts. I am the Hug Machine. I hug everything I see. No one escapes the hug machine. The hug machine sounds like he's a bit aggressive with his hugs, like he's throwing himself into the other people. You think that it would be less special getting a hug from someone that hugs everything? What do you mean, less special? Well, if there's someone that is less discerning, then maybe they don't give as good a hugs. I bet it's the opposite. Why is that? If someone repeats an action over and over and over again, you think they'd become an expert. Just because you do something a bunch of times doesn't necessarily mean that you love doing it. Well, that's just not the case here. Clearly, this little boy loves giving hugs. It seems as if he's given each and every hug its all. Yeah, I think you're right. My hugs make the biggest feel small. The smallest feel big. I hug soft things, hard things, square things, long things. I am the hug machine. Oh, do you need a hug? I think you do. Hug accomplished! There's nothing the hug machine will not hug. What about me? I'm so spiky. No one ever hugs me. They are missing out. What about me? Surely I'm too big for you to hug. Of course not. Not for the hug machine. You see that? This kid is clearly a hugging expert. Yeah, you're right. You know what they call someone that loves giving and receiving physical affection? Huggy Huggerson? A cuddle bear. Remember what I said earlier about bears? What do you think bears love about hugs so much? I can't speak for others, but I'll tell you that there's nothing better in the world than hanging out in sub-zero weather, hugging someone that you love. Sub-zero weather? That sounds terrible. Don't you have to hug to help maintain warmth? They go hand in hand. But when it's so cold, you don't ever, ever want to stop hugging. Maybe you are a hug machine. People often ask what the hug machine eats to keep the hugging energy high. Well, the answer is pizza. The hug machine likes pizza very much. Refueled and ready for action. Hug, hug, hug. What a tiring day of hugging. The hug machine is exhausted. Hug machine can hug no more. Oh, why, yes, you may hug the hug machine. Hug machine is always open for business. It looks like this little guy spends so much energy hugging everyone. It's a good thing it got refueled. I never knew that hugs were fueled by pizza, though. I don't know if I'd say that. I would say that kids are fueled by pizza. I would take that one step further and say that the world is fueled by pizza. It's the most popular food in the world. I like the thought of the world being fueled by pizza and hugs. Who wouldn't want to live in a place like that? I love it! Speaking of loving things, if you love this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam. And I'm Sugar, and this is, and this is Where There's, where there's a, a Williams, Williams There's a Way. Did you know 
In 2007, a team of archaeologists discovered the lovers of Valdaro in a Neolithic tomb near Mantua in Italy. The lovers are a pair of human skeletons that have been buried holding each other in a tight embrace. They've been determined to be approximately 6,000 years old, so we know for sure that people already hugged each other in Neolithic times.